You, you, you. You are my friend. I never knew what you were. Bell has entertained fans around the globe as one of the most cherished musical icons for 45 years. As a powerful R&B performer and songwriter, she's made her way into the hearts of friends, critics, and fans. She's a queen. She's a queen. Anybody that makes hair stand up on your back and she just gone and you can't even catch her. I love her voice and I like her school. There's a couple people that can give me chills when they sing. Aretha Franklin is one of them. My mom is another one. Born and raised in Philadelphia, Patty was always singing. When I was really young, I took a broom and would pretend that that was a microphone and I would stand in front of the mirror and sing my face off. I knew that I could sing, but I wasn't going to let anybody else know. And then I went to church, and then I had this wonderful choir director. She joined a choir in her neighborhood, but only came into the public spotlight after the formation of her first group, the Bluebells, that later transformed into LaBelle. LaBelle sprung to the top with their hit Lady Marmalade. In the early 80s, Patty embarked on a long and successful solo career, winning two Grammy Awards and a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Miss Patty LaBelle. Yeah! It's going to be one of those nights that I am not going to hold my stomach in no more. What you see is what you get, honey. I can't hold a note and hold my stomach at the same time. You never know what Patty's going to do, say. Or sing. I'll do these things because they're part of me. Just a part of Patty. Patty's enthusiasm for music and life translates easily into her work as a philanthropist. As a humanitarian, as a, as a person, her heart is huge. It's just boundless what she gives. Patty's work as a humanitarian is legendary. Having lost her mother to diabetes and her three sisters to cancer, Patty has served as a spokesperson for the American Diabetes Association, the National Cancer Institute, and the National Minority AIDS Council. I want you to know I'm on a mission. I'm the national spokesperson for the Minority AIDS Campaign. It's called Live Long Sugar. She formed a foundation called the Patty LaBelle Medical Education Scholarship Fund that is administered through the National Medical Association. Patty's tireless efforts resulted in the dedication of a special research laboratory in her honor at the Sylvester Comprehensive Care Center at the University of Miami. She's got so many charitable causes that she supports, as well as being an artist and making a living and, and being out there working. Patty's life has been filled with triumph and challenges, both personal and professional. And through it all, she has emerged as a musical icon whose magnificent talent, honesty, and generosity have ensured her a place in the hearts of music lovers around the world. If you're blessed with a sister or brother or mother or father, a friend, or just some child who needs guidance, say to them tonight, I love you. I love you. I love you. We can make this world a better place. Yes, we can. 